Hello and welcome to UTC South Durham, a specialist STEM college for 13 to 19 year olds located here on Newton Acliff Business Park. I'm Scott and I'll pass over to Sam Chima, our head of PE, who's going to demonstrate some cricket activities with a group of GCSE students which you can get involved with at home. Alright guys, so for our last drill, okay, we're going to bring our first and second drill into play here, kind of put it all together as best we can, okay. We're going to play a little bit of a conditioned game of cricket, okay. We've got four players on the batting team and four players on the fielding team, okay. Before we start, we're going to go through some of the basics about how to, how to hold the bat and how to stand when you're doing it, okay. So when you're batting it, okay, it's really important that your dominant hand, okay, so I'm right-handed, is at the bottom of the bat, okay. When you're batting, your thumb and your finger need to make a little bit of a V, just like that as we're doing it, okay? So guys, if you're struggling, okay, to understand what you need to do, again, what I always recommend is putting the bat on the floor there, okay, and naturally how you go pick it up. So again, I'm right-handed, the right hand's gonna come down on the bottom of the handle, okay? My left hand's gonna come, and it naturally creates the V shape that you want from your first finger to your thumb, okay? Again, when you are batting, okay, it's really, really important that you are stood side on, okay? So it means that if the ball is coming that direction, I am stood facing my chest outwards, okay, to you guys. When we stood, Really important, you stood legs shoulder width apart, okay? Have a little bend in your knee, guys, and again, make sure we're holding our back. Now, again, it's up to you how you guys want to hold the bat in terms of how far you've got it, but I always say kind of a waist height is better of a natural stance for me to kind of go for, okay? Again, when we're stood in this position, it allows us to make many different moves wherever the ball bounces, we can play from here. So, guys, what we're going to do now is put what I've discussed in the kind of practice here a little bit, okay? So, again, remember, V shape with our hands on the back of the bat, right handed to our right angle to the bottom of the bat. Again, shoulder width apart how we stand, and make sure we have a nice little bend in our leg, okay? All we're gonna do, guys, is now we're gonna hit the balls off these batting tees, okay? Again, we're gonna get ready in my crease, okay? Come forward, step into the ball, and meet the ball as best I can, okay? So again, if you wanna see that again in a little bit more detail, again, right at the bottom, bat's not too high, again, ready for what's about to come. Step into the ball, and come through, okay? Now what we've got is George is gonna go through it with us and show us how he does it. Okay, thanks for demonstrating there, George. Okay, what we're gonna do there is pick up on a few key pointers that George could change to help him improve next time around. Okay, so George, what I need you to focus on is what hand are you? Right hand, okay, good. So that's gonna come on the bottom of the bat for me, okay? Good, and your left hand's just gonna go on the top of it. Perfect, okay? Now remember, when you are stood, which way do you wanna be facing? Good, okay, you wanna be facing side on to the ball that's coming that way, okay, perfect. How far apart do I want your legs to stand? Shoulder width apart, okay, good. When you're batting, when you bat the ball, what are you going to do with your front foot? You're going to put it forward and step into it, okay? So good. Again, last thing I want you guys to work on is remember that little V there that you've got in there, okay? So remember, your thumb and your finger creating a little bit of a V. You're going to step into it and show us that shot again, please. Are you ready? When you're ready. Okay, good. Much better, okay? Again, well done there, George. Much better. Right guys, so now we're going to put this into a little bit of a conditioned game, okay, where you're going to practice having a shot each, okay, and then seeing what they've done right and seeing what they can improve on. Are you ready guys? Off you go. Good, well done. Second one. Good, Matty, superb, okay. Your bat is coming down nice and straight, and your legs coming towards it and you're meeting it perfectly, okay. So George, just for you there, when you're coming down, you're swinging your bat, okay. You're swinging your bat kind of coming across that way, okay. Make sure when you're swinging, a nice and straight back coming down, okay? Use your foot as a bit of a guide of where you need to be, okay? Wherever your foot's going, the ball, your bat's going next to it, okay? And it comes down nice and straight, okay? Well done, the boys, really good sense. Turn the over. Okay, guys, you ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, boys. So one thing I want to pick out there, okay, is our feet. When we hit the ball, 
Did our feet move at all? Okay, so we again, the corn was there and we just kind of moved into it, okay? So again, really important, when you're batting, you're moving to where you want to hit it, okay? You're moving into the ball. Again, when we're holding the bat, make sure our dominant hands are at the bottom, hands up here, okay? Knees bend, so we're kind of flexible and just kind of stepping into the ball as we're doing it, okay, boys? Right, you guys ready? Okay, good, good stance so far, guys. Get ready, three, two, one. Superb, guys, ready, second one. Three, two, one. Superb, Aussie. That was a perfect example there of what we needed, okay? Again, corner was there, you stepped through the ball, okay? Your back came down nice and straight, and the ball went straight as you wanted, okay? Superb demonstration there. Harvey, the only thing I want to pick up there is when you're batting, please make sure you're stepping into it, okay? Make sure our weight is on our front foot when we're playing our forward drive, okay? Well done, boys, well done. Okay, so this is our Next drill, again, it's a continuation of what we've been doing earlier with our field drill, but now we're going to again try to replicate a bit more of a game situation, okay? What we've got now is a fielder is going to throw a ball to our opposite fielder, he's going to try and catch it again, and they're going to try and aim for the stumps. Again, you can use anything at home, you've got a stumps, you can use a wall, you can put a bit of chalk around there, whatever you've got. Again, to make it a bit easier or harder, you can add more stumps in there, and make it wider, or again, you can take them away. You guys ready? Are you ready guys? Good, well done. Move to the back line guys. Perfect, yeah, move to the back line. Unlucky, make sure you try to aim for the bottom of the stumps, okay? Back line. Right guys, so what we're doing, okay? When you and your partner are up there ready, okay? We're gonna go quick, okay? Nice and quick, you're doing this drill so we can get as many goals in as possible, okay? So when you guys are up front of the queue, make sure we go straight away, okay? So if you miss, you go to the back of the queue, okay? Perfect, Joe, well done. Well done, well done guys, keep going, okay? Nice and quick now, okay? Well done. Good, well done, nice, aim at the stumps, good, keep going, oh, nice and quick. Well done, Aussie UK, good, a little bit of jog between guys, perfect. Catch it, well done. Well done, Harvey, again, swap over. Oh, unlucky, Matt, but good though, much quicker, okay, well done. Okay, so now we're gonna make it a little bit more challenging, okay, again, so we made kind of the area that the students are hitting at a little bit more difficult by taking one of the stumps away, okay, so make the challenge a little bit harder for the students. Are you guys ready? Off you go. Good, well done, unlucky, well done, keep going. First up. Unlucky, well done. Keep going though. Well done, keep going. Superb guys, much better. Unlucky, good attempt though. Go on Ben, move over. Unlucky. Remember, aim for the base of the stumps, guys. Very close, go to that line, back the line. Unlucky there, guys. So remember, when we're aiming, we're aiming for the base of the stumps, okay? Okay, guys, really, really well done there. Okay, again, if you try to do this at home, remember, you can use anything you've got around the house. Again, tennis balls, old pair of socks, kind of aim at. Again, you don't necessarily need stumps. You can use pillows, you can use a wall, you can use a chair. Whatever you guys have at your disposal, okay? You can use anything to kind of make this activity at home as well as the boys have done today.